Gummy burger, jelly burger, jello burger. Get in my belly, bitch. These little flips, you see that? I love that shit. I feel like a damn princess. I don't know why. Hello, Smith. How are you today? Princess Tomato is fantastic. <laughs> today is a new jelly DIY. And y'all, when I was a kid, I used to love those tiny little burgers that were like, you know, jelly, like burgers. That, well, it wasn't jelly, it was like a gummy burger. And it was so good, like a candy, you'd be like, mm, oh my God, it's so good. This is better than McDonald's. So damn good. So I decided to make a giant jelly burger. It's gonna be flavored with different flavors in every layer, and I'm just, it's gonna slay. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato. We're trying to reach 800,000 tomatoes, so hit that subscribe button to become juicy and red. Also, this video is part of a huge collab with a bunch of my favorite people including my boyfriend the people that I'm collabing with are my boyfriend Alejandro Valdez made a giant jelly gumball. Braylon from Glitter Forever 17 made a jelly beauty blender. Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox made a mini jelly happy meal. Kim Spire DIY made a giant lip gloss. And Amanda's Chronicles made a giant pool of slime. Go check out all their videos. They're all gonna slay you, I promise. The links will be below, so go subscribe. Go check out the videos. Tell them Timmy sang you. Tell them y'all. So yes, let's get started with this jelly burger. I hope y'all enjoy it. Did y'all hear that rise from the depths of my asshole? I did. I heard it. All I know is that this burger is going to be coming out of the depths of my asshole in about two hours. I have really good digestion. So we're going to need different jellos, different frostings, my old ass bag of food coloring. It's a mess. Some molds shaped like burger pieces or your mom's flat ass and tons of gelatin. So y'all, I'm going to be filming most of this DIY in the kitchen and I'm going to use four pots. This one's going to be for the meat. So I'm going to fill up the bowl of meat. Um, that's what they call my dick. <laughs> and now I'm getting tons of water for the bun portions. There's two buns, so I got a lot. And then I'm getting some water for the two tomato portion and I did not use real tomatoes because that would be cannibalism and then for the little lettuce pot and now we're gonna add gelatin to all of them so first we're doing the bun so we're adding so much gelatin I think I added like 20 some packs stir it and it should start to look like balls of pus that's exactly what you want and then turn the heat on start cooking this shit and then just let it dissolve now for the best part the tomato part we're using cherry jello because you know I'm tomato vegan hashtag stop tomato cruelty hashtag don't wear tomato skin then I added like nine packs of gelatin and I'll just mix that shit up, put it on the heat. Then I made the lettuce portion and I use lime jello, not real lettuce because lettuce and tomato are my LTP and I'm tomato vegan and it would hurt the tomato. And now for the meat, for now, I'm just adding gelatin like I did with the buns because we're going to add something special later to make it brown and like a shit color. Oh, look, there's a something special. Surprise, it's frosting. Oh my God. So I'm adding this so it's not see-through and for flavor because gelatin by itself tastes like rotten animal ass. So I'm going to add some food coloring now to make it a bun color, like not burnt bun, but like ass bun like my asshole like my bun DIY edible ass how to make asshole you can eat without eating shit <laughs> so now I'm also adding frosting to the tomato one to make it like a thick tomato color but not too realistic because this is not a horror movie we don't need to see tomato blood everywhere and then I added frosting to the lettuce and now we're gonna deal with the meat so I'm using Hershey's chocolate and frosting <laughs> fuck me this stuff is gold like honestly rub it on my clit rub it on my sphincter <laughs> so now those are all done so we're gonna put them in their molds I got a bunch of cake molds and a big bowl and there's me that is laying like yeah so then i filled up the meat one i tried to make it like the thickness of a meat patty and then the tomato kind of thinner and then the lettuce real thin because it's a skinny bitch it's on fucking nutrisystem and then the bottom bun and then the top bun which was in a fancy ass bowl i bought for 20 dollars just for this damn tutorial so while they're in the fridge i made the cheese so basically i did the same thing but with lemon jello and then i added with the final thing y'all know this shit and then i put it on plates to make like a really thin layer of cheese because if cheese is thin you won't gain weight it's true it's it's a fact if it's thin it's no calorie so now we're gonna assemble our burger and this was the scary part because you don't know how it's gonna turn out but there's the bottom bun it had this weird ass design on it from those cake pans it made my buns look like modern art <laughs> so for the meat i just kind of cut around it to make little shitty like sides like how meat is it looks shitty so i picked up that piece of meat and i slammed it on the bun and this is not a porno. For the cheese, I just cut it in the middle and then I cut it into kind of triangle type things to make a cheesy shape. And it worked so perfectly. This cheese literally was cheese. Like, you can't deny it, it's cheese. 
shut the fuck up. So then I made the tomato and I I tried to make those little holes like where the seeds are, like a slice of tomato, but it fell apart because the tomato god got angry at me for making a fake tomato. For the lettuce, I just cut around it like squiggly to make it like lettuce, make it look healthy and natural like a vegan's asshole. Now the top bun <laughs> fell apart <laughs> and it looks kind of like the skin on my feet. But you know, I put it back together and it's a puzzle. So now it's a game. So my jelly burger is done. And it was so much fun to make this for real. And this is me slicing into it. Oh! Sorry about me moaning y'all. That was my vagina being tickled. So there's a slice of jelly burger. Would you eat this? Let me know if you would eat this shit. It was literally so heavy. I think it was around 20 or 30 pounds. It actually tasted so good. It like it had so many different layers and flavors and it was amazing. I was dancing, I was twerking, I was digging into that shit like the bitch I am. The animal in me came out and I was like, thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out the other videos in the collab links are below and don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato Ooh, boo, boo.